Hello, my lights. It is Crushmaster, and welcome to Journey to the Sa well, Welcome to my Journey to the Savage Planet. Now, you might be wondering, Crushmaster, what is this? Well, my uh, for any of you who checked out a certain gameplay video that I uploaded uh, two weeks ago, about two weeks ago, when this is coming out, I think, um, when this is being uploaded, um, there was a new game, and the thing is, Mites, that's the- here's the thing. So, I was originally gonna upload three Nintendo videos like I usually do, but a certain game is coming out, um, at, it, by the time I uploaded three- those three videos, it would have been- I already have so many other videos planned out in my schedule, and none of them are, like, really Nintendo or kind of, like, related, and it was gonna be literally- like, here's the thing, Mites, last- last, uh, two weeks ago, I uploaded my Sonic Forces, and two- other videos as well um then i was gonna upload three nintendo videos then when i was gonna upload th another three videos those three videos the the, the fourth the third set that would have been just a couple days after a new nintendo game i want to play comes out so i'm switching the order just a little bit um basically so don't worry if any of you nintendo lovers out there you are gonna get your games just uh gameplays just a little bit a little bit uh later I'm uh, very sorry about that, but I hope it'll be worth it, because this new game, I'm really, really excited for. But here we go, Mites. We get another new game. Not Nintendo-related, but... Uh, well, it's a, it's, an old, it's new to me. It's new to me. I only heard of this game not, like, a while ago. Like, in like uh, in 2021. And last year. Well, sort of. And, um, basically, um, I wanted to give it a shot. Because, here's the thing, Mites. Basically, the here's the rundown. The three games I am trying right now, they're basically, uh, they're, they're, so here's the thing, I, I played, I've recently gone into the Fallout franchise, you know, the classic games Fallout, Fallout 1 through 4, Fallout 76, and though not a lot of people like 76, I, I actually really like it, even though when I started playing it, it wasn't exactly at its best, and uh, it has gotten better over time as well. The thing is, though, Mike, is that by the time I was thinking, I popped in my head, ah, man, I kind of wish I played this game on my channel, because this would have been really cool to play. Because uh, there's so much things, and the updates are really cool. But, since I since I already did so, and even though I could have made, made a new character, I like to do with things fresh and new, and just, like, my own, like, first, like, hands touch on the game and stuff like that. So, I looked for other games similar, and these kind of popped out in a sense of being free roam adventure exploring type so this is the first one might so here we go we're going to we're going to take a journey to the savage planet right now all right uh, wait actually let me see uh, yes right there okay here we go journey to the savage planet uh, just by myself no one else at the moment let me see sir any specific options uh, nothing too much. If it, if anything needs to be tweaked, much, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll um, I'll basically I'll tweak them. All right. So here we go. Ooh, what's the normal way to play Journey to the Savage Planet? The best place to begin your adventure. Keep it old school with limited lives and tracked time. Save data will be will be deleted when mode is completed or fail. <sighs> Ugh, so it's kind of like a hardcore mode, like uh, for Minecraft mods, it's kind of like one of those kind of modes in the games where it's literally one or limited amount of lives, and then it's done and deleted. So I think I'm going to go with normal, just because I'm still new on this. Maybe at some point in the future, maybe I can try old game minus, but for now, I think normal's the way to go. Alright, here we, so yeah, game type normal, main game 0.0%, so here we go. Fourth best. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Seriously, you got gold, silver, and the uh, the bronze. Ooh. A R Y A R dash Y dash. Well, A R dash Y twenty six. Goodbye, Earth. I barely liked you. You were fine for the most part, but uh, yeah. 
Although, for some reason, my system <laughs> seems to be... My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. No problem. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving oh, to huh. help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, Ugh. manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and fun quarters. Of course, you got my fun quarters right here. Striving to drive humanity further from the bottom of the oceans and now to the stars. Yikes. Yeah, this got a bit messy. Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into Let's settlement. See. Which is why you By the way, mites, do not try the grab. Seriously, do not try the metamorphological food paste. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. Nope, not right now. I should also mention that while every so sad. effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. Yeah, thanks for that, by the way. But don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin will be on the landing on your planet. Wait, what? You need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. You're kidding me! You decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. No! But I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. Yeah, so sure! Good luck! We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive, and see you soon. So, what? What? No! 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 I want my... I... I... Oh! Oh, fourth my... <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have at least a third of those. Thanks a lot, freaking. Welcome. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. <gasps> Finally, but some first help. Things first. Please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. Well, define crazy. Okay. Um, I'm guessing here. Oh, well, here's the 3D printer. Okay. okay. Uh, 30 health, 5.0 second stamina, orange goose. Orange goose? What's that about? Please take the questionnaire on the computer. Otherwise, I can't open the door. Or turn on the lights. Or feed you. Okay, okay. I was just checking out the 3D printer. Because that's kind of kind of going to be my main thing keeping me alive. So if I can 3D print some damn fuel. Wow. Just by... By the way, thanks, scientists. Thanks out there. Seriously, I was not told this. All right, greetings. Looks like you made a good job. As per your Kindred Employee Experience Program, yeah, I'll give you a real good experience. Oh, yeah, mites, but just letting you know, I'm going to write a survey. Going to write a survey to these people. Uh-huh. Uh, you'll love it, my <laughs> Benefits contract, and you are contractually obligated to submit regular reports during your mission. Let's begin. One of my jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Uh, I think some of, some of these got a bit messed up. Uh, just letting you know. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. Yeah, based on that picture that got messed up, I don't think a lot of people would say the same thing as you. Thank you for your time, Explorer, uh, Explorer, hashtag J7, well, number J75X321. Wow, that's real rememberable right there. Report complete. Really? That's the it? That's, that's my report. Oh, <laughs> might. Ooh, I wish I could tell you some stuff, but I can't. 
This is the end of the report. Please press the submit button to send your answers to Kindred's data center for processing. Enjoy your adventure and stay alive. Oh yeah, stay alive. That's always a good... That's always good, isn't it, Moist? At the end of every report, you just like to hear, stay alive. What the heck was with the messages? Welcome from Kindred, Kindred Aerospace. Greetings, explore name here. Wow, they're gonna even get my name. Uh, welcome to the first day of your great adventure. We could not be more excited to welcome you to planet name here. Wow. It was a uh, why something dash something. It was like why something dash something 26. I, I forgot. As a key member of Kindred's quest to explore the stars, it is imperative that brave people such as yourself, thank you, turn over every rock, scan every blade of grass, and dig the precious crafting ingredients from the innards of every beast you encounter so that our database may grow and humanity may continue to expand across the infinite reaches of space it's not infinite but okay humanity has been trapped on earth for the eternity of ex uh, for the entirety of existence <laughs> yeah tell me about it we can be bigger we can be more help us get there sincerely yours martin tweed founder and ceo yep thanks uh thanks for that <sighs> all right let's see what this uh Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. Ah. Um, October 2034, and this is my departure date. Right here, mites. Oh, man, yeah. Uh, really? I'm kind of missing that blue ball now. Seriously, I, uh... <sighs> Seriously. General Tweed's Chinese Kitchen. Oh boy, alright. What's this 3D printer about, by the way? Uh, let's see. Basic utility belt can carry three objects of any type. Okay. Uh, let press left or right to cycle items. Uh, gear, backpack, Pfizer. I think I got just about all of that on me. So, let's see. I think that's about it. I guess I got no choice. Rob, the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. Yeah, got that right. <sighs> Alright, guess I got no choice since I'm already here, mites. Might as well see what I can do. Wait, teleport. Ah. Uh. Just like you know, mites, I really hate teleportation. Seriously, they couldn't have given me a hatchet or, 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 or um, I don't know, like... I'd rather be sucked down into space. Or even just a wormhole. Seriously, a wormhole would be great right now. Whew. Colonizer. Nice. <gasps> yes! <laughs> it's a snow planet! Okay, that is what I'm talking about. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. It doesn't seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. Wait, what? More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Wait, what? Echo. Wait, in your what? exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. Uh, sure. I believe this is what it is, right? Huh. Uh, come on. Come on. Maybe if I just... <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh. Down here. What the? Oh. Huh. Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang up Oh, Do that no. Now. Oh, God. You have got to be kidding me. Don't forget to continually scan your surroundings. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blueprints for stuff. Then you can collect stuff to make the stuff in the blueprints, and that stuff will help you survive against the stuff you took pictures of. Uh, yeah, thanks for that helpfulness right there, Echo. Alright. Oh boy. Oh no. Yeah, that's not good. This exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. 
What the heck? How does how does a ship lose paddling on on, on on re entry to a planet? Seriously, I know police boxes made of wood tougher than this stupid. <sighs> I swear. Oh man. See, this is not what I signed up for. And look at this too. Fuel tanks are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. Uh, what? No, no, this this is not what I signed up for. Oh God. <sighs> All right, I have been sent to this world with the goal of discovering whether it is fit for human habitation. Using the latest in kindred, sci in kindred science, I must scan the world and build out a database for transmission to kindred. Ongoing budget issues combined with attempts to cut weight in the shuttle of launch meant means that I, as I continue my core mission, I will need to find a suitable locate, uh, local fuel source for the cartographers to gather and refine. Yay, just great. <sighs> oh god, this is really not good. Please tell me there's Please tell me that's just it. That that those are the only two things. Uh everything looks wait a minute. Oh no. Call this hatch home. Or would it if they weren't sentient? Wait, they're sentient? AI? Really? Huh. Okay. Um, ch 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 ch. let's see, let's see. That's not supposed to look like that. Oh my god, you are kidding me. Not the smoothest landing, but at least we survived, right? Uh, yeah, sure. If you want to call this surviving, then yeah, go for it. <sighs> Moritz, I'm not gonna lie, this is, uh, this is not great. This is not... This is not what I had in mind. Not at the least. Not even close. To show track the mission. Uh, it says I got a I got a location something over here. Oh boy. Uh, <clears throat> okay, this is uncomfortable. Uh, crouching in a spacesuit. Not the best idea. Hello. What's that? What is that? Oh no, is this stuff from my ship? This is from my ship, isn't it? Ah, uh, there is our missing panel. Oh. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. <sighs> Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. But Let brilliant. Me mark it. Brilliant. Okay. Uh. Okay. I. I can. I can make that. Wait. What's that? You know. I didn't think about it. Huh. Gravity seems to be fairly normal. Uh, 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 ice. A little silvery, but I can. <gasps> Oh, would you look at this, Mike? Isn't this beautiful? I am detecting a fortuitously fragile surface nearby. Please scan to confirm. Uh. Let me see. Huh. Okay, what is this? What is this substance called? This alloy? These crystals look extremely breakable. You could take out some unexamined aggression on them. Oh, so... really? Looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new blueprint to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. But in order to print it, you'll need to gather some basic resources from the local fauna. Oh, of course. Isn't that just great? More and more work. Ah, no! I didn't mean to... Ah! Gross! Isn't that just... What the heck are the... <gasps> Look at those! Those are smites! Look at this! Actual aliens! Oh! Oh my god! Look how cute they are! Pufferbird! Snowy! Isn't that cute? Cold. Loves you! Oh! Oh! They love me! Oh! The friendly little guy! You okay? I'm not gonna hurt you! Right? Oh! This, this is so cute! Look at them! Oh, aren't they, aren't they adorable? That must be the eggs, I would assume. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. It's the... Wait, what? Grob? Wait a minute. Whoa. Was somebody here first? That's weird. Huh. Or maybe this maybe it fell out of my ship, a uh, containment of the stuff? Well sure. I wonder if they'll like this. There you go. Uh you guys like that? It's good? I'm glad you guys like it. Or well, girls, I don't really know. Oh, oh, oh! Whoa! Oh! What the heck did you just hey, Oh! Look at that. You picked up some carbon. What's good that? for you. Nice work. You have collected enough carbon to craft a basic nomad plasma pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh huh, I wanna do a bit more scanning real quick. Let's see, what's this? Over here, this plant. They're drugs. But good drugs. For healing. Not fun. That's good. Vitality plant. Uh, well, v yeah, vitality plant. Pop them for a quick shot of health. Uh, I think I'm good for the moment. What about the eggs? Or I assume? Puffer birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. <laughs> oh, I go. I'm good. I think I'm gonna like you. Huh. So, this is. This is, uh, some sort of salt, I guess? Salt crystal. Doesn't look like any salt I've seen. Aw. Oh, <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, what about these? What's this? These aren't reeds. Not tender. Wait, tender. Tenta reeds. Not tenta reed. Not, not tenta weeds. Tenta reeds. Big difference. Uh, okay, I guess? No. Yeah. Uh, uh, I can't really there we go. Oh Okay, I did not mean to do that, but all right uh, Okay, well, maybe this isn't such a bad situation. You know, I got the, the puffer birds. I got the puffer birds with me mites So it's uh, it's not the worst situation. So let me just hop back in the ship real quick time You return to the javelin you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying any wow. Outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. Okay. What the? The grab and go super lady is gonna come along for food base from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier. Ugh. Plus, nutri minerals, power booster, and twenty million. Boy. Exactly. Reconfigurable metal blasters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach for maximum satisfaction with exemplary convenience. With tastes, flavors, and textures like beef, chicken, pork, chocolate mousse, hard candy. Uh, it's not even maybe barf, freaking glob. Alright, let's use this uh, 3D printer. Let's see. Uh, how do I... Uh, should be in the weapons. Nomad pistol. A basic plasma pistol. One of my favorite little weapons, by the way, Mike. Personally, personally, I love a variety of plasma pistols. Shoot straight and arrive alive. <laughs> I hope so. Uh, LT to aim, RT to fire, Y to reload. Alright, seems simple enough. Now you've got a weapon. The single most important tool for any colonizer. Not really what I would like to hear, but okay. Uh, so how do I access this? Uh, how do I? So confused. Uh, I'm so confused. How do I? How do I access it? Come on. Okay, didn't I just do it? Uh, maybe... Okay, my uh, sorry, just give me a second. I'm not exactly sure how to access it. Maybe I can't access it inside the ship? Mm, wait, wait, unless maybe this, uh, maybe I have to grab it from somewhere. Uh, where, where could it be? Where could it be? Uh, can't exactly do that real right just now. Uh, did I not do it okay I'm really confused gear blah 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 ha huh. undiscovered and prey flora kintech 
Okay, very, very interesting. Uh, maybe if I go outside, I'll be able to access it somehow? Hey! Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, so here we go. Mine's gonna take out some much needed aggression out of, off of these. Of, well, on these crystals. <laughs> oh, puffer birds. Oh, I love you. I love you, you little birds. Alright, All right, let's see what this bad boy can do. Ooh! Very nice. I don't want to destroy all of it, just in case. Don't know exactly how rare or not rare this stuff might be. The, uh, let me scan it real quick. Oh, uh, what's it called again? Uh, the fra- well, just fragile crystal. An inconveniently placed crystalline barrier could be destroyed with enough force. Alright. Ooh, man, this thing went right through it, too. I could slap, and I could shoot. Slap and shoot. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so far, so good. Yeah. <sighs> wonder if the whole planet's like this, all frozen over. Whoa. Oh, oh, okay, that was just my gun. Just my gun. Got a little nervous there for a second. Wasn't sure uh, what to think. There we go. Gotta say, I like it. I like the orange and the blue. It's very, very nice. Whoa. Look at this place. It may sound weird, but do you see a large... Power looming above you? Wait. I only ask because my system appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Yes, please, please. I would love I would love some help. That would be very nice. Uh, what the heck is that? That does not look, uh... Oh, that does not look good. What happens if I... Maybe if I can, uh... Oh! Huh. That thing you picked up looks disgusting. Yeah. And squishy. And bouncy. Gelatinous blob. Gross. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that would be very wise. Since I'm here, though. Oh, wait, gr we whoa, what the heck? Okay, um, not gonna lie, Mice, this is not exactly ideal right now. And, uh, I want to scan a few things real quick. Let's see. Anything I could scan? Well, whatever this stuff is, there. These unhatched alien eggs can be used like a natural trampoline. Ethically iffy, yes. Effective? <laughs> you bet. Yeah, springy egg sack. Ugh. Jump on these unborn chill. Okay, I think that's about. Uh, I think that's uh, what I'm gonna say is the end of the video, Mites. I think that's gonna be the end of my uh, first log. Uh, for the time being so uh, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed this um, Let me know in the comments if you would like to see this again It uh, it actually I think would be very very uh, interesting yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just gonna head back to the ship as I say this so anyway wise, I think this is gonna be uh, like well I just said it I think it's gonna be it for my first uh, entry uh, slash video journal dead log whatever you want to call it so hopefully you all really enjoyed it let me know if you want to see more of these it would actually be uh, very very nice since I am alone at the moment with uh, at least I got the puffer birds at least I got the puffer birds my <laughs> that's so uh, that's what's important hopefully you all enjoyed this please leave a like and subscribe it would very very much be appreciated and uh, gonna explore that I guess later on and I will see you all later let them all.